America, we have a lot to share with you tonight, but I, I want to start here. Remember, what was it, a couple of weeks ago when I told you that uh, they were going to start using social justice, they were going to start talking about God? Well, I, I, I mean, I can't take it anymore. How many times Nancy Pelosi is preaching to us about the gospel now? Here she is now talking about why we have to have cap and trade. Watch. Take defense as security issue, a health issue, an environmental issue. It is an economic issue, and it is a moral issue for us to be under the obligation we have to pass this planet on to future generations intact. And, and if you believe, as I do, that it is also that this is God's beautiful creation, we have a moral responsibility to preserve it. Moral responsibility. How many times, how many times have we heard progressives talk about moral responsibilities, and yet, got to take God we trust off the money. It doesn't make any sense, unless you understand it's all about Crime, Inc. Hang on, here we go again. Hello, America. Glad you're here. Uh, we have a moment of good news. Just a little smidge. U.S. District Court uh, has ruled now in favor of ending the six-month moratorium on drilling for oil in deep water. This ruling came down just a couple of hours ago in New Orleans. Moments after that, the White House said, we're going to appeal it. This is critical. This has happened before. Who was it? <laughs> No, you thought I was going to say it was Woodrow Wilson. Uh-uh. Next favorite, FDR. Do you remember when the president said this at the State of the Union address? With all due deference to separation of powers, mm. last week the Supreme Court reversed a century of law that I believe will open the floodgates for special interests, including foreign corporations, to spend without limit in our elections. I'd urge Democrats and Republicans to pass a bill that helps correct okay, whatever. some of these problems. Pipe down, please. Um, when I heard that, I told you, I think it was the next day. So that sounds like FDR. He was throwing down the gauntlet. I said, look out, look out, because he's going to declare war on the Supreme Court just like FDR did. Supreme Court started striking down the New Deal, and FDR targeted four senior members on the court, tried to add four new ones to pack it and circumvent the efforts of those that opposed the radical New Deal. This is nothing new for progressives. You learn history, and you will see where they're going next, and it's not really a good place. Because here's what they do. First, they sell it to you. They talk right to your heart. And then, if your heart won't listen, they jam it down your throat. They cut deals with anybody that will cut a deal. And if that doesn't work, they jam it through the court system. And if that doesn't work, you watch them try to dismantle the court system. But I did say it was a little bit of good news. Celebrate while you can. I showed you yesterday. This is, this is Crime Inc. This is just what's happening in the Gulf. This is just one of the many stories look on the stories in the next few days that we are going to be uh, bringing you on the Gulf. It's pretty amazing what's going on. It's organized crime. That's what it is. But uh, it's also something else. It's a death sentence for two reasons. Energy and corruption. Energy and corruption. Let's start with energy, shall we? Why did the U.S. prosper? Why does America always win? Why did we prosper after World War II? For a number of reasons, one, we're not a corrupt country. But I think the main reason is the American worker, you. We work harder than most people around the world. While well, the Frenchy French, they're working, oh, I work 11 hours this week, and I'm almost 38, so it's about time for me to retire. <laughs> While they're doing that and having a baguette, we're grinding it out. We had the biggest dreamers and the brightest entrepreneurs in the world. We had a country that gave people the best possible platform to let their ideas and their imaginations reach the potential. Let me ask you something. How come the iPad didn't come from any place else? How about Windows? Why did it all happen here? Because that's how we're wired. 
The other important piece was abundant resources, cheap energy. We had the technology, we had the brain power, and we had the energy. Now you compare that with today. Do we still have the hardest workers? Yeah, I think we do. Do we have the biggest dreamers? Yep. Entrepreneurs? You got it. The free market. Do we have the free market anymore? No. Because some people are too big to fail. That doesn't allow the bad guys to lose. You end up paying for it, and you're already working hard for your children. Why are you working for somebody else's kids now? Companies are beholden to the almighty unions as well. And when the unions drag a company down to its knees, the government steps in, takes control, they micromanage, they cripple every single company they get their hands on. Now, how about energy? Well, now in America, not only is it expensive, it's cheaper than the rest of the world. But not for long, because we have an administration that is actively trying to make it more expensive. Not my words, his. Under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Who thinks that's a good idea? They're going to shove us into alternative energies. Okay, well, that's great. I just wish the solar panels worked. Yeah, Let, you know what? Let's run, let's run New York City on windmill power. Let's do that. You know what that is? Besides suicide, it's like forcing somebody to drive over a bridge when it's only half finished. It'll be great when it's done, but crossing it now, uh, you might plummet to your death. Pretty good shot. Look at the destruction this six-month moratorium on drilling is and will continue to cause if the court doesn't stop it. And I mean stop it now. This isn't something we can battle out in the courts because, what was that I said the other day? Being neutral isn't good enough anymore. You have to pick sides. Neutral is a decision. If they suspend this while it's in the court, all of these things will happen. Drilling suspension alone will result in a loss of three to 6,000 jobs in Louisiana alone. And that's in the first two to three weeks. Experts now believe it could be over 10,000 jobs in, in Louisiana. Now, let me ask you this question. You know, I know Joe Biden is like, hey, we're creating jobs left and right. Yeah, with the government. Everything else, non-government jobs, we're, we've created 40,000 jobs. So how is it the president thinks that we have enough that in one state we could lose 10,000 jobs? What kind, of, what kind of plan is that one? Now, the state, Louisiana, risks losing more than 20,000 jobs in the next year and a half. What are we going to replace those with? Solar panels built by uh, Van Jones and his friends, because I got news for you. As you see in New York, those solar panels, those jobs are being lost to give to prisoners in New York. Now, tighter supply, we're not drilling for our own oil. What do you think happens? Some say $150 a barrel and at least, and there's $150 here, and at least $4 a gallon gasoline. How's that going to work? By the way, if you add in cap and trade, according to Harvard, you're now looking at $7 a gallon gasoline. But under his plan, oil prices and gas prices, electricity prices will necessarily skyrocket. Currently, the oil rigs in the Gulf. There are currently 33 oil rigs in the Gulf. 33. They're currently being fought over. How many will be in the Gulf if we just let them sit there? Why? Because nobody's going to let millions of dollars just sit there. They can lease them to other countries. Look, no politician is listening to you anymore. They're not listening to you. But you've got to let them know this madness has got to stop. You've got to get them to block this attempt. Mr. President, you've got your out. You fought. The court decided you cannot do this. I know there are people that watch in the Supreme Court. They watch this program. You must grab this case. You must try it. 
even if we lose, if we don't decide it now, it's going to happen anyway. Given the extremely negative effect on this drilling ban, I mean, is it any wonder that people of Louisiana are a little upset with the president and the way he's handling this crisis? We're not even talking about the hole anymore. Polls actually show they believe George Bush would have handled this better. Only 32% think that Obama is doing a good job. 32.